Hey guys, so I am just showing you the Hungry Girl recipe for scoopable apple pie. You just want to take eight Granny Smith apples, peel and slice them. And I actually just used this three pound bag and it came out to about nine apples, but that's okay. Um, so what you want to do is you need to take three tablespoons of cornstarch and mix it with water. And then we'll just go ahead and pour that on top. Um, and then I've got three tablespoons of stevia. This is two teaspoons of lemon juice. One teaspoon of vanilla. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Now she actually uses one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and then a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, but I don't have nutmeg, so I just use two teaspoons of cinnamon. And then half a teaspoon of salt. And then you'll just go ahead and um, put the lid on the crock pot, turn it to high, and then it's going to cook for about an hour and a half to two hours. And then I will show you some different recipes I'm going to be using this with. Okay, and it is done. I actually let it cook for about two hours, um, and I gave it a good stir probably every half hour. Um, so now I will show you how I am going to serve it up tonight. Okay, so this is how I am serving up the scoopable apple pie. I used half cup of the Halo Top vanilla bean for two points, and then one tablespoon of the Smucker's sugar-free caramel syrup. That's one point. So this is a three point dessert because the apple pie um, has zero. Well, the scoopable apple pie has zero. So a total of three points for this dessert. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how I'm making the caramel apple empanadas. This is made with the two ingredient dough. First, um, you wanna have a quarter cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and you definitely want to use the Greek yogurt. Don't get regular yogurt because it's not going to work. Um, and then a quarter cup of self-rising flour. So we'll go ahead and get the, get the yogurt in here. And now your flour, and you just want to mix that up really well. <clears throat> This is pretty sticky dough, um, so just be aware that you kind of just got to do the best that you can with it. So I just kind of get it mushed up in there. This dough is so versatile. You can do so much stuff with this, and I can't wait uh, to come up with a bunch of different recipes for you guys. All right, so it's kind of kind of put together. I'll go ahead and take it out. And then you just wanna take a little bit of the flour. You don't wanna use too much because you don't wanna add any more points to it. Um, and then I'm just gonna kinda knead it up as best as you can. I have not made the bagels yet, which is, I think, the first thing that people were really starting to make with this. Um, I might give that a try next. But I'm also thinking about um, adding a little bit more flour. Um, maybe some kind of buffalo chicken pizza pocket. As you can see, it's really sticky. But that's okay. It's getting there. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more flour down here. Put that right there. Kind of smush it around till it's not so sticky on the tops. Move my bowl. And then you just kind of start rolling it out. Now, 
It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I just do the best I can. It's still gonna taste the same. I like to kind of pull it up every few rolls. If you get little holes in it, that's okay. You just kind of push them together. I like to get mine as kind of, not too flat, but a little bit flatter. That way it gets kind of crispier. All right, this is probably gonna stick. Yep. I'm just gonna kind of fold it back. Put down a little flour. Okay. And so you can see, it's really starting to stick. All right. I am gonna go wash my hands off real quick. Okay, so I washed some of the stickiness off my hands so it might make it a little bit easier. And I really just wanna get this a little bit more rolled out. Okay, and you can kind of see how it starts to break apart, and that's okay. Just kind of push it back together. These don't have to be perfect. Oh, let's see here. It is quite a hassle doing with this dough, but it's really worth it. All right, so that seems pretty Pretty good to me. I'm just gonna fix the little holes there. Give that a little roll. All right. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of the scoopable Hungry Girl apple pie filling, which you can also get the sugar-free apple pie filling in the can. Um, if you don't have this, but this recipe is so easy to make. You wanna try to leave a little bit of opening at the edge so you can flip everything over. All right, that looks good. Okay, so next you're just gonna go ahead and add the sugar-free Smucker's Caramel Syrup. There's only one point in this. And I add one tablespoon. Go ahead and get that in there. And then you're just gonna fold it over. And then I like to try to lift it up a little, make sure it's not gonna pop. And if you have little holes in there, that's okay. Grab my fork. Um, all right, so you just wanna fold it over on the sides. If you are getting pretty, because that hole's getting pretty big there. I'm gonna go ahead and rip some dough off of the side here. Try to patch it up a little. And then I'm just kind of sealing the sides with my fork. So now I've got a little bit of egg wash. This is just egg white, a little bit of water. I'm just gonna kind of brush that on top. You don't need very much of this. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon on top. All 
it. And then I've just got the inside part of my air fryer right here. And um, I sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray just to make sure this doesn't stick. Let's get this pulled up here. All right, so then I'm gonna cook that in the air fryer, um, probably at 375 for about five minutes, and then I turn it up to 400 for another three to five minutes, just so it gets a little um, brown and golden. So I will show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Okay, so this is what the caramel apple empanada looks like. There is a total of four points in this, three in the dough, one in the caramel sauce, and then zero in the Hungry Girl apple pie filling. Um, so this is it for my video. If you liked this and you'd like to see more videos like this one, please give this a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.